Hello everyone, it is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, so today's pick a card reading, we are looking into what your ex's feelings are uh, towards you. We're going to be finding out if your ex has regrets. Do they miss you? Do they want you back? Um, and then those of you that are kind of in a no contact situation with this ex, we're going to see what is it that they want to say to you, if anything. Like what is it that they really want to tell you? Um, sometimes you know, you can have ex-partners who you're no longer in contact with or there's certain things that they want to let you know and they're either not having the courage or there's something that is blocking them. Um, maybe even a current situation they've got going on in their life that is preventing them from being able to really tell you what it is that they may have on their mind or what they're feeling. So we're just going to see whatever information does come through. Today I do have three little objects. I actually took these off of my uh, Christmas tree because um, we're going to be taking it down because it's after <laughs> after Christmas now. So pile one, you are going to be this uh, little fox here. Okay. Pile one with the little fox. Pile number two, you are going to be this sled little wood sled for pile two and then pile number three you are going to be these little antlers for pile three okay so looking into your ex's feelings do they have regrets do they miss you do they want you back um, and what is it that they're wanting to say to you maybe something they feel like they can't or they're just not able to okay so pile one with the little fox pile two with the sled and then pile number three with the antlers uh, timestamps will be down below for you guys and I will see you what you're reading hello pile one so those of you that resonated with the little uh, fox here this is going to be a reading so we're gonna put your little fox over here so we're looking into what your ex is feeling towards you, you know, do they have regrets? Do they miss you? Do they want you back? Uh, what is it that they're wanting to say to you? So we're going to look at how you're, how they're feeling first and kind of see what information we can get from that. Um, and then at the end, we'll look into what is it that they're wanting to say to you. However, when we're looking at the feelings, we might be able to tell from there. Okay. Let's see, pile one. What is pile number one's X feeling towards pile number one? How is your X feeling towards you, pile one? Okay, so we do have the Six of Swords. How's your ex feeling towards you? We have the Page of Cups. We also have the Tower. The Nine of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands. How is your ex feeling towards you? We have the Knight of Swords. The Two of Wands. Have the four of swords how is your ex feeling towards you high one okay and then we have the death card eight of cups at the bottom okay 
So I will say, looking at this Eight of Cups, and then we also have the Six of Swords, both of these cards are, you know, can be interpreted as, as moving on, okay? Um, the Eight of Cups is a card of emotional abandonment, withdrawal, detachment, you know, letting go. Um, so, I mean, it could, it could be a situation in which you have walked away, they've walked away, whoever left who, but I'm noticing here that with this little person who's walking away, this moon is crying, you know, this moon is sad. So I feel like in a way, you know, it could be that, that really depending on who left who, right? Who both of you may be feeling these feelings of, of moving on and things of that nature. But I feel like the six of swords is also a card of, you know, moving forward, moving on, moving away from something that may have been creating a lot of challenges, maybe for the two of you. And I am saying that we do have the tower here. So the tower could, you know, indicate that you and this person, for some of you, it could have been a really, you know, tumultuous, chaotic type of ending. Maybe it's something that was very unexpected, very sudden um, upheaval, right? We're seeing how in this tower card, the little couple here is kind of like flipped upside down, falling um, with the, you know, all the lightning, the towers on fire. So it could have been for some of you, like a really bad breakup that you had with this person. Um, what I will say, because I, because with the eight of cups, it is emotional abandonment. It is, you know, someone who's moving away from, I feel like those feelings, those emotions. So they're trying to, I feel like, or have detached themselves emotionally, right? Feeling withdrawn from the connection. And I did see the Hierophant right underneath the Eight of Cups. So some of you could already be married or committed to someone else. Or this ex, for some of you, could already be moved on or even married. Yeah, look at that. The Hierophant and the Lovers. It makes me feel like either one of you, or maybe both of you, could be in other connections, other relationships. For some of you, I feel like this person is someone who's already married, um, married to someone else. Um, so what I'm kind of getting from this, because I do see we do have the Page of Cups here. Okay. So I feel like although this person has moved on, I feel like with the Page of Cups energy here that the person doesn't have a whole lot of emotional investment into you, I feel like, because the Page of Cups is, you know, a, a very small offering of feelings, emotions. Um, and so it makes me feel like the person may still want to communicate, message, um, to express, or to maybe even to flirt, or to you know, send little messages here and there, but I feel like for the most part, this ex has moved on. Okay. is kind of what I feel from this. They have moved on. Um, I feel like with the page of swords and the four of wands that this ex may also be someone who I feel like kind of like oddly enough, it makes me feel like this ex wants to actually see you like uh I don't know if it's for closure but just to kind of almost like be friends with you to talk to you to catch up to you know things of that nature because I feel like with the tower and the nine of pentacles for some of you you could still like you could be single you're still single where this person like I'm seeing the, the Hierophant and the Lovers, this person could have already moved on to another commitment, another relationship. We have the devil here too. Um, they may also be kind of, you know, stuck in a situation, you know, 
Um, I don't want to say that if this person is married that they're in a bad marriage, but the devil energy could be something that is restricting them or restricting this person from reaching out, talking to you. Um, or they could even be fears or doubts that they have or something like that. Um, for some of you with the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant and the Lovers, this person could have also been someone who didn't want commitment, you know, who could have walked away from commitment uh, especially if they had like commitment phobia or, you know, the two of you were dating and you never even made it to being in a committed relationship. This person could, you know, have walked away because they didn't want something more serious with you. They could have had been afraid, you know, with the devil energy being afraid of your connection leading to something more. So take it how it resonates because this is a general reading, but it makes me feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, some of you could literally be single still. Um, and I feel like this person sees, may they may see, <laughs> because the Page of Swords can also be about spying, internet spying, um, you know, researching things online, trying to get information on you. Um, so they could be like stalking social media, stuff like that, like looking at you noticing you because the nine of pentacles is a very stable secure energy so some of you could have also like moved on from this person and you could be like in a way better place yourself with that nine of pentacles energy and they can be watching you or looking at you you know online and so that kind of makes me feel with the page of swords and the four of wands because this card the four of wands can sometimes be about reunions like um so it makes me feel like this ex is someone who would still feel excited kind of in a way to actually see you that even though they've moved on or you guys may have both moved on from each other it makes me feel like there's still like this flirty energy that that this ex has towards you like for the most part emotionally i feel like the bulk of the emotions that were in the connection are not really there anymore Right. Especially if you guys were like had a serious commitment and you guys were all in love to me, that page of cups is like the, the person still feels some type of way towards you with the page of cups, but it's not like super invested emotionally. Like the person is still in love with you. Okay. Because I feel like with the page, it's showing that there's still like this, like this person wanting to still say hi to you, still wanting to you know, maybe they, you know, for somebody, the person still follows you on social media or they, you know, try to look up pictures of you and want to know kind of like what you're doing and, you know, things of that nature. I feel like just curious with the Page of Swords. Um, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords energy here in the Two of Wands, it's like this person may be wanting to take some type of action or, you know, make some type of decision with regard to communication I feel like about this you know some type of reunion here they may kind of reflect back on the relationship the commitment that you guys had for those of you that were actually committed to this person um, the four of swords energy to me here if you notice that this little boy looks like he's sleeping here the four of swords is a card of rest and reflection meditation um so this to me is also non-action, okay? And I'm noticing how we have non-action on this side with the Four of Swords, which for some of you, this can also be no contact that you have with this ex. And then you have the Knight of Swords on the other side, which is about decisive action. Non-action, action. And then we have the Two of Wands right here in the middle. The Two of Wands is about being at a crossroads, about you know, um, having to make a choice, right? What direction to kind of go in. So, and then we have the death card here and the death card is about, you know, changes that have occurred. I feel like in your connection transformation, you know, that may have occurred for both of you, but the death card is also about an ending here, right? So I feel like this ex for the most part sees that your connection is over, you know, the connection's done. Um, they have, I feel like, for the most part, emotionally moved on. Like I said, though, um, we have this person who's walked away and we have a sad, a really sad mood, a moon here. You know, the moon look, looks like it's crying. So, I mean, that can be that, you know, this person, 
like I said, depending on who walked away from who, who left who, you know, you could have been sad to see this person go or they could be sad to see you go if you walked away from them. Um, I feel like I want to clarify that a little bit. But yeah, like I said, I, I kind of feel like this person for the most part is emotionally detached from the connection. They still feel, I feel like flirtiness, the Page of Cups is a very sweet, expressive type of energy. So it almost makes me feel like this person like would still like to see you, would still like to talk to you, would probably still like to be friends. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting from this is like, uh, yeah, I want to see kind of what this energy is surrounding this four of wands here as well. I think I'm going to use a different deck. Let's see. What this four of wands energy is. Why is the four of wands here? Two of cups. Wow. Ten of wands. Okay. So yeah, I, I feel like what I'm seeing here with the four of wands... Two of Cups, Ten of Wands. It makes me feel like this person still thinks of you in a romantic way. They still think about the connection that you guys had, the emotional bond and connection. That Ten of Wands to me is this person holding themselves back. Holding themselves back, maybe from talking to you, communicating with you, um, flirting, sending you a message communicating with you. Some of you, like I said, if this person has already moved on, married someone else or is married to someone else, committed to someone else, they may feel like that is the only choice they have is to move on, is to let go, right? So even if they felt feelings here, what can they really do about it? You know? Maybe they feel like if they reach out and message you that it could create problems, issues with the tower energy, upheaval in their own life, you know? Let's see what this uh, Eight of Cups energy is here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so like I said, it's kind of like this person feels that... Because the Ace of Pentacles, when it's in the upright, this is an opportunity, a tangible opportunity for you and this person to be together, to have a new start, a new beginning, an opportunity. But being that we have the Eight of Cups here, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's like this person has withdrawn, detached emotionally because the opportunity for the two of you guys to have a relationship again is something this person feels maybe is not going to happen or is not possible, you know? So I feel like as much as this person may feel feelings, you know, an emotional connection to you, that they cannot move forward, you know? So the only choice is to move on because this energy is blocked here with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So emotional connection, bond. It's like the Ten of Wands here is a situation that could create a lot of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of heaviness. Um, to me, it's kind of like this person holding themselves back. You know, are they choosing just to stay quiet and not say anything? Let's see what this Page of Cups energy is here. Knight of Swords. Okay. So that to me is like this person wanting to take some type of action to message you or to communicate with you. Let's see um, what this Knight of Swords energy is here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. 
it may feel like this situation between the two of you, whatever's happening right now, is kind of like outside of their control. You know? And it's not something that may be possible for the two of you guys at this time, you know? Like, because the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse is kind of like when we feel like we have no control over a situation or, you know things coming uh, together between the two of you. Um, you know, I feel like it's like this person feels like I before I come forward and say anything, I need to think about things. And that could be also what this Four of Swords energy is here is that reflection. You know, I can't just come forward and, 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 flirt or to message you or to communicate what am I going to say to you you know because if if this person's already moved on and they're either not open to starting over with you or there's not even a chance for the two of you to be together what's the point of of talking what's the point of communicating we're, we're just going to flirt we're just going to message each other and say hey I miss you and that's it like where where does it go you know, so it makes me feel like with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse that and the Knight of Swords that as much as this person wants to just kind of come forward impulsively, because that's what the Knight of Swords is. It's very fast moving, uh, confident, um, impulsive communication or action, right? With that page, which would be the expression of, of feelings, flirtiness, right? But the Page of Cups is more something that is very sweet and very innocent um, type of communication, right? So that would be like your little sweet little, you know, hi, how are you? Just like little, you know, not, not like super, super emotionally invested, but it's just kind of like sending out that little message to say, hey, what's up? How are you? How are things, you know, how are things, you know, but it's like, for some of you, I feel like if this person is already in another, I mean, you too, you may also be in another relationship too. So it's like maybe this person sees you, especially if you have pictures posted, you know, or this person knows that you're also in a commitment. That can also be something that's holding this person back too, for some of you, you know, and maybe that's why they feel okay. Well, and especially if for those of you that both of you have moved on to other relationships, it's like, okay. You know, the, the only thing I can do is let go because there is no chance for us to be together, you know? So, yeah, I, I feel like we have two cards here, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, both of like those cards, like I said, are about moving on, you know? So I kind of feel like it's like this person feels that, you know, maybe both of you have decided to move on from the connection. Um, both of you may be in two very different places in your life, you know. Um, some of you could have had like a super glow up after leaving this person or not being with them anymore where you uh, are really like doing really well for yourself with that nine of pentacles, you know, independent and just kind of on your path of abundance and stability and security. And it's like, so yeah, it makes me, it just makes me feel like this person is, is, you know, I feel like as much as, like I said, as much as they feel that there was a really strong connection between the two of you with the two of cups, um, it may even be that, you know, being friends because the two of cups is, not just about a romantic partnership, it's also a friendship. So it makes me feel like this person would be open to being friends with you, but it could also be, you know, holding themselves back of not knowing what to say because they may feel that, like I said, there is no opportunity for you guys to be together. Maybe things that are outside of their control. For some of you, this could even be maybe distance. I'm noticing how this two of wands... This little person is holding the the world there. So some of you could even be a distance kind of situation here. Let's see what this Two of Wands energy is here. We have the moon. 
Yeah, so the moon energy can be about this person having anxiety, fears, insecurities, doubts. This person can also be someone who's hiding or concealing, suppressing their feelings, right? With the Two of Wands energy, the Two of Wands, like I said, is about, you know, choices, decisions, being at a crossroads. So this person could even have like doubts about you guys ever being together again. They could be doubting how you feel, you know, not really knowing what the future holds for this. Like, are you guys ever going to be friends again? Will you guys ever see each other again? It's like, this is just like a big unknown with the moon energy. Okay. So let's see. Why is the death card here? And we have the Empress. Okay. So yeah. I'm getting, yeah, for some of you, this person could be already married, already has a wife, or already in a relationship. Um, some of you, this could even be someone that you were married to, and you are now either divorced or separated. Um, you could have already moved on to another relationship. Um, the, the Empress could, she could also be a symbol of birthing something new creation, right? The start of something new. And we have that with the death card. So it makes me feel like just this person just feels like, you know, being with you or being together again is just something that's not a possibility for whatever reason, right? It's going to be different for all of you, but it's just not a possibility. I do feel like with the Empress here, this person still feels very attracted to you. Um, I feel like you could have been someone who was maybe the most attractive person this person they may have ever been with. Um, but yeah, to me, it's, it's just kind of like this person is, is holding themselves back from messaging as much as they want to, just to kind of like impulsively, like send you a message to flirt or to, you know, say, Hey, I saw a picture of you and you look, you look good. <laughs> you look good you know, but just not doing it because of fears and choosing, like I said, for some of you to stay no contact with that four of swords. Um, so we do have, um, I forgot to tell you guys the signs here. We do have, um, I'm seeing strong Pisces energy, Taurus, Libra, uh, Scorpio. Uh, we've got Leo, Aquarius, Okay, it's also something. What else do we have here? Gemini. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to, let's look at what else with the Oracle cards here. How's your ex feeling? So I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't really say that I'm seeing regret here. Okay, I'm not really seeing like sadness and sorrow and you know, things of that nature. Um, I'm not really seeing any type of emotional feelings of loss. Okay. Uh, so let's just kind of see where this person's feelings are at. I may have to ask kind of spirit directly, like, do they want reconciliation? But like I said, from, from for the most part, I feel like this person has already moved on, you know, already moved on. Um, so what are your ex's feelings towards you? Okay. So we have commitment here. We have secret admirer. What are their feelings towards you? In hiding. And then we have off course. Of course. And then, okay, there we go. We've got sorrow. Sorrow. So maybe this is them, right? Maybe you walked away from them or whoever it was. But yeah, like I said, we have a sad moon here. And if with the moon energy, maybe this is something this person is suppressing, right? So then that makes me feel, because we do have the sorrow here, that this person does have regrets, right? person does miss you, but like they said to me, I'm getting the, 
I mean, some of you, yes, you could have been married to this person, serious commitment with them. For others of you, I'm getting the feeling this person has already moved on and married to someone else or committed to someone else. Right? We have off course here, which makes me kind of feel a couple different things with this. The off course to me could be that this person's life has taken them into a completely different direction. You know, maybe things didn't end up how you guys thought they were going to. Maybe for some of you, you may have thought like, this is it. That's the person I'm going to be with. We have secret admirer here. So if because this person is an ex and we have secret admirer, it's like this person, like I said, still feels some type of way towards you. Um, you know, I feel like the attraction still being here. Um suppressing any type of feelings, emotions, not going to show you, not going to tell you, right? Um, I feel like showing you interest by just maybe saying hello and not saying anything <laughs> more than that to tell you like, wow, you know, I think you're still hot or I think you're still, you know, super attractive. I kind of miss you. I almost kind of feel like the person would just kind of say like little small things and not really tell you to the full extent how much the separation, the breakup has actually affected them. And I feel like this is probably what they keep hidden or concealed in that moon energy with the hiding is how much this bothers them, you know? How much they do think about it. How much, you know. We've got secrets at the bottom. Okay. So that makes me feel like this person just conceals whatever it is that they feel towards you and just doesn't say anything. All right. We have in hiding here. You could be hiding from them. They could be hiding from you. Um, just kind of like stay in the background. Right. And not really say um, anything. So what I want to do, because I'm, I want to see, like, does this person, we're going to ask spirit here. Does this person want reconciliation with you? Now to me, like I said, with the sorrow being here, because we're not really seeing that here in the tarot, you know, we're not really seeing that there's regrets or heavy, like emotional, uh, energy because with the eight of cups it's detachment it's with it's abandonment right but that moon energy is suppression suppression of it okay so let's see does pile number one's ex want them back do they want reconciliation with pile one does pile one's ex want to reconcile Eight of Wands, that would be communication. Three of Swords, does Pile One's X want them back? Do they want to reconcile? Five of Swords in reverse. They may feel like there's too much conflict surrounding this situation. We have the Lovers. Yeah, it makes me feel, some of you, like this person is already in married for some of you. Right? But the lovers can also be, you know, commitment with you. So I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like it's, if you know that your person has already moved on, they've already married to someone else, then to me with that five of swords energy here, that could be the conflict that's there, right? That's blocking, making it almost impossible for the two of you to be together because they're already involved with someone else. The Three of Swords can also be a love triangle situation. So yeah, I'm totally getting outside influence here. A marriage commitment here. We've got maybe potentially wife here with the Empress. They could already have a family. You know, already moved on. Committed. Um... The Three of Swords is breakup, separation, right? Five of Swords is conflict, defeat. Um, 
you know, the two of you may have had disagreements, arguments, fights. The five of swords in reverse would be able, being able to resolve those differences, right? Um, so I feel like Spirit's saying here that although we have the lovers here, which yes, could potentially be, you know, reconciliation. I feel like looking at also the other energy here, which we can't ignore, you know, the three of swords is heartache, pain, suffering, a need for healing, a need for resolving differences or conflict that you guys may have had with each other. And that requires communication, you know, of which I feel like your person could be holding themselves back from. Because if you look at this eight of wands, there's a cat on here that is kind of scratching and clawing at the wands, like almost like trying to reduce the speed of the wands, right? So it makes me feel like this person is, looks, I don't know, just looks like a scaredy cat that's afraid to message or afraid to communicate or even say, say it to you. That's kind of what I'm getting from your person here is that even though they have tried to move on, move forward, you know, it's like this person would be somebody who would never admit it to you, who would never say it straight out. I still have feelings for you or I still think about us. It's like almost like, mm, like, what are they like too? Um, I don't know, stubborn, maybe too stubborn to admit, you know, what they're feeling or to say something to you. It just makes me feel like this person would just choose to barely touch the surface of things. You know, by, like I said, just kind of like the innocent little messages of, you know, saying hi, or maybe even for some of you, like liking your, your pictures or something like that and looking at, looking at you on social media, but never actually coming forward to actually say something, you know, like not admitting it is kind of what the energy that I get from your person is just not saying it you know? So yeah, it makes me feel like with the lovers being here, like I said, for some of you, there is a third party that's involved, um, which creates conflict with the two of you being able to be together. Okay. So let's see why the lovers is here. Yes. Again, look at that. The lovers in the Hierophant. This Makes me feel like those of you that chose this pile, it's like either you're married, moved on and married in another commitment, or they're already in another commitment. And this is what we were seeing at the bottom earlier. Right? Why is the lovers here? The three of yep. It's this is third party energy here. Okay. So it makes it like um like I said, almost impossible. Like the only thing they can do is move on. The only thing either one of you could do is move on. So it's just like, yeah, there's there's definitely third-party energy here in this pile. That's probably why they feel like there is no more opportunity for us, you know, to be together. It's just not something that's possible. So as much as they may feel like, yeah, I would probably give this connection another chance, it's not something that's happening. So, yeah, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. This is long-term committed relationship partnership um we've got the seven of wands yeah it just yeah it, it, i feel like i would say yes you know the person would be open to reconciliation if you guys were able to resolve your your differences and things like that but i mean the three of cups can also be reconciliation right reconciliation there which i would say is possible but those of you that are in third party situations where the, you're, you're already moved on, they're already moved on, that's what makes me feel like they feel like that it's near impossible for the two of you guys to, you know, be together again. This, this, um, okay. So let's just, I feel like let's ask spirit here. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to tell you? What does your ex want to say to you pile number one what would they want to say to you 
What would Pile One's ex want to say to them? The Emperor. That to me is like as closed off as you can get with the Emperor. That's like, ugh. The Emperor is not very good at talking about their feelings. Not good at all. Why is the, uh, or what, what is it that they would want to say to Pyle? Number one, the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like this, ugh, this person. Six of Wands. It's like, I almost feel like this person, like Spirit is saying here, this person's not going to say anything. It's like they're allowing their pride and ego, I feel like, to get in the way. They're just not going to admit it. They, they wouldn't admit it. Admit anything, I feel like. Rather just stay quiet, not say anything. Um... I feel like if anything, what they would say to you with the six of wands is they would tell you that, like I said, I'm kind of getting for some of you where this person sees you maybe online or they they ask about you or they maybe ask friends about you, family. Um, they're curious. The six of wands is a card of recognition of being in the spotlight. So maybe there's some type of achievement or something that you've done, you know, so it, it kind of makes me feel like they would keep things very, like, just, like, not getting into it. Not getting into really opening up and saying something to you. You know? Like, not going to admit it. Not going to tell you that I still have feelings for you. Not going to tell you that I'm still interested. I'm not going to tell you that I feel sad. I'm not going to, you know, it's just kind of like with that emperor and the moon energy is they're just going to keep everything inside. They're never going to tell you how they really feel or how this really affected them or bothered them or anything. It's just leave it alone. They're stubborn. I feel like with that emperor energy. Okay. So let's just get some message cards. Um, and then we're going to close this reading out because this pile is already so long already. Pile one, what do they want to say to you? Yeah, they're just not going to admit it. I want us to get past the phase that we're in right now. So some of you could be really awkward, right? Maybe no contact or uh, just things kind of just not flowing right now for whatever reason. What do they want to say? Our chemistry was like nothing else. I took you for granted. I screwed up. I'm dealing with a lot of guilt. Okay. I have a lot of personal issues I need to work on. I still need closure. Our feelings are mutual. Okay. So if you still, let's just say you still love this person. And they probably still love you too. But they're hiding it in that moon energy. Okay? Suppressing. Suppressing. With that page of cups, they could be someone who has difficulties with allowing themselves to be completely open and vulnerable. Right? It could also be emotional immaturity. Like I said, kind of like keeping it so like nonchalant and like not expressing the full on. Just being very little, little things like, hello, hi, how you doing? Little stuff, right? Never getting super into it to talk about it. Okay, so somewhere in time, I will find you, wow, and love you again. Somewhere in time, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have, I see you everywhere I go. I can't shake you, okay? So I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number one. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with this little sled here, this is going to be a reading. Just move that there. So we're looking into what your ex's feelings are towards you to see if this person has regrets. Do they miss you? Do they want you back? What's going on with them? 
Um, and then we're going to be asking spirit, what is it that they want to say to you, if anything, okay? Um, if I don't have the clear messages that I need to kind of find out if a person has regrets or not, or if they want you back, like, do they want to reconcile? I may have to kind of throw that question in directly to ask spirit if it doesn't come through, okay? Which is what I had to do for pal one, <laughs> Because Pal One's person's energy was like really stubborn. So let's see. Pile two. Pile two. What are Pile Two's ex's feelings towards pile number two? Okay, pile two. How is Pile Two's ex? Feeling towards them. How is Pile Two's ex feeling towards them? Lovers in reverse. Okay. That is a breakup. Breakup. Lovers in reverse could be breakup. Um, it can also be a once. Hold on, you guys. My zipper is going to be messing with this microphone. Um, it can also be like a um, an imbalanced connection, okay, a one-sided connection, um, or even trying to force love um, in a situation. So we'll see what, what else is here. What are Pile 2's ex's feelings? The King of Cups, okay. King of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. What are Pile Two's ex's feelings towards them? Whoa, we have like all the kings here. What is going on? That's crazy. Temperance and the Nine of Swords. You know what? This makes me feel because we have all these kings here. We're only missing one, but we do have the Lovers card here. This almost makes me feel like this is a Divine Counterpart situation or a Soulmate. Like you and this person have a very, very strong connection with each other. So even though there is breakup, the King of Cups is a lot of emotional investment. This is a lot of love, a lot of care, um, attraction, desire, commitment, energy that's still here. And with the Nine of Swords to me, like if you look, there's a bunch of ghosts here. <laughs> So, and this person is kind of like awake in bed. So it makes me feel like this connection is still haunting them. Not in a bad way. <laughs> like they're like, I, I feel like in a, a way that is kind of like spirit saying that this was a significant connection that you do have with this person. And they're kind of like, they cannot forget it. I feel like it's on their mind. They're having dreams about you. They're having, it's just like the connection is one that is unforgettable to them. You know, how does your pile two's ex feel? The hermit. This is alone, feeling lonely, feeling isolated. Um, uh, a lot of time to think about things. How is Pile Two's ex feeling? Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman. I feel like being away from you has given them a very different perspective. They may feel that things between the two of you guys are still very unpredictable. 
right? They don't really know what's going to happen. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, it may also feel that they kind of feel that because of the strength of the connection between the two of you, like, is it fate? Is it destiny? You know, are you guys meant to be? I kind of feel like this person has been thinking about What are pile two's ex's feelings towards them? Oh wow, five of cups. That is is grief, sadness, pain, sorrow. So this person definitely has some very deep regrets or guilt sadness loss grief of the relation or you know grief of loss of the relationship the moon as the overall energy the moon is about suppression hiding feelings emotions we have the tower right underneath that some of you this could have been a very uh abrupt ending upheaval chaos, destruction. This person is still having dreams about you. Still having dreams about you. The moon energy, I feel like this person is having a lot of fears, uh, confusion, clouded judgment, uncertainty, anxiety. Some of you, this person could have had commitment um, issues. But yeah, I, I feel like this is definitely a connection that is very strong and to the point where this person cannot just like let it go, you know, like it is something that is haunting them, your energy. This is like, like I said, we have almost all the kings here, um, all of the kings in the tarot, there's four of them, the cups, the pentacles, the wands, and we're missing the swords, but all four kings are the same as, say, the emperor, right? The emperor is the embodiment of all of these kings. So with all the kings and the lovers to me, it's kind of like this is a divine counterpart, a twin flame, okay? Or a, a soulmate. This is a very significant connection with this person. This isn't just like a... This is serious. This 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 is not like I'm saying just like a whatever connection. Like I went on a date one time with this person and whatever. It's this is so if if this is not really what you have with this person, I would say maybe choose a different pile, but I would say this connection is something that is extremely strong between you and this person and I feel like as this person has been alone and away from you, I feel like they're coming to the realization of what this actually was that they had and they no longer have right now. So mm -hmm. there's this been this change of perspective. Like they now see what this was, what, what it was that they had. So the five of cups is that feelings of loss um, of something from the past, okay? Grief, sadness, depression. Nine of swords is anxiety, overthinking, overanalyzing, being in their head. Um, this is worrying about future, right? Worrying about what's going to happen in the future. Um The hangman energy is, is a state of suspension, of limbo. Uh, it is where we take a break, take a pause, take a step back so that we can gain a new perspective on something. And so I feel like in this person, maybe isolating themselves away from you, spending time alone in introspection and reflection, maybe even working on healing because we do have the temperance card here that they are able to see the strength of this connection. 
So I definitely feel like this person still has feelings towards you. They do have regrets. They may even feel guilt. There is the moon energy is this person concealing, hiding, suppressing their feelings and their emotions. But there's still desire here. There's still passion. There's still chemistry that they feel is existing between the two of you. The King of Cups is pretty well invested emotionally. Okay. Um, can be some very deep feelings, especially if you've been with this person for a while, you've invested time and energy. It could even be reflective of love, very deep love that this person may have towards you. Um, the King of Pentacles to me is still that this person may think of um, long-term committed relationship, partnership uh, with you. Okay. Um, we do have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. We have Taurus energy here, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces. Okay. Pa yeah, Pisces energy. We have the hangman here and the moon. Uh, I feel like I want to clarify this um, lovers in reverse because that, you know, could very well uh, be symbolic of the breakup, right, between the two of you. But even with that breakup, it's like there's still feelings that are here. You know, this five of cups, let's see, okay, why is the lovers in reverse, why is the lovers in reverse, this page of cups wants to come out. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what this is to me. I almost feel like because we have the page of cups here that this person could have been someone who wasn't, again, we've got Pisces energy. Um, this person may have been someone who was not ready who was not ready on an emotional level or even emotionally mature enough to grasp, I feel like, um, almost like they weren't ready for the intensity of this connection. You know, so strong between you and this person. Might have been too much, might have scared them. That's what this makes me feel like. And now that you guys are not together, it's like thinking, boy, did I screw up. <laughs> boy, did I screw up. Why is the lovers here in reverse? Like this person wasn't as emotionally, I feel like as emotionally invested as you were. You know? Not as emotionally invested as you might have been. Eight of Swords. Their own insecurities, self-sabotaging behaviors were blocking them from being able to fully open up to this connection on an emotional level. And I feel like this is something that they've learned as they've been spending time alone. Maybe shutting you out cutting you off no contact for some of you where they've gained this insight they've gained that insight I feel like from spirit wow um, let's look at this moon energy ten of pentacles in reverse yeah, they may have felt like your connection maybe was, maybe felt unstable, was unstable. Um, the Nine of Wands is also very guarded, maybe even very wounded. Uncharted territory. This person could have also had fears of long-term commitment or serious commitment, not been ready for commitment. Um, 
yeah, it makes me feel like the strength of this connection was so strong that it scared them. They weren't ready for it. But now that you guys are no longer together, now they see. Now they see. You know, I'm seeing the Nine of Cups. It could have been something that they had always asked for, but when they got it, they weren't ready for it. You know, how we say like to ourselves, like, oh, I want love. I want this. I want that. And then we get it and we don't know how to handle it. We let our, mm, our baggage screw things up, right? Childhood wounds, past relationship stuff. We're not even prepared for it. And that's what makes me feel about this person. They weren't ready for this. This person has uh, maybe even irrational fears about commitment, commitment phobia, issues with opening themselves up fully, emotionally. Could have been emotional maturity issues. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting with the Five of Cups, this person does have regrets. I am going to ask Spirit, though, does this person want... Um, before we do that, let's get the rest of the Oracle cards out here with their feelings. How to? What are their feelings towards you? We have Be Mine. What are their feelings? Love ignites. To me, this is this passion that this person is feeling. Reigniting things. We also have avoidance. Why? Why are you avoiding? And it says, you are my light. What other feelings? Respond. Maybe this person is wanting to respond. Avoiding it. Why are they avoiding? Why are they avoiding? Why are they avoiding pile two? Ten of Wands. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. The Ten of Wands is, is holding ourselves back. It can also be when we feel a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. Uh, if you did have a very challenging relationship with this person, the Ten of Wands could even be like feeling drained, feeling tired, feeling exhausted, feeling like it's a lot. A burden. Um, why are they avoiding? Two of Pentacles. They may even have other stuff kind of going on in their own life too because the Two of Pentacles is about juggling juggling something, choices, priorities. They can even have other priorities going on in their life as well. Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles can also be this person having mixed feelings. Why mixed feelings? Because these two here can also be talking about the ending of your relationship, your end of your connection. Right? Especially if your connection ended in a very painful way. They can have mixed feelings about going right back into it. Going back into it. The two of pentacles, you're trying to decide, trying to make a decision, trying to weigh your options here. Makes me feel like this person feels mixed. There may still be some fears here, even though they may have some regrets and be like, wow, that was a really strong connection. Are they really ready for it? Are they ready for it now? Even though now that they see it with this insight that has been given through the hangman energy, a change in perspective, and they know kind of the, you know, what the connection is, have more of an understanding of it, are they still not ready for it? You know? Are they still not ready? Uh... With the respond here, it makes me feel like some of you guys that have already messaged them, have they just not responded to you? Are they avoiding messaging you? Are they avoiding responding to you? Or maybe they've sent something to you and you haven't responded. Maybe you've been avoiding them. Um, what is this energy of respond? 
Queen of Swords, communication. Five of Wands energy is conflict. Okay. They may be afraid of you. <laughs> I will say that with the Queen of Swords. They could be afraid of what you're going to say to them. Because the Queen of Swords, she is a no BS. Do not come and bring her some BS. The Queen of Swords is very direct, very straightforward. She wants the truth. She wants honesty. She wants you to be direct with her. You know? Don't come and approach her and feed her a bunch of BS. Right? She'll cut you down. So <laughs> this person could be a little bit intimidated by what you're going to say to them. Um, yeah, this makes me feel like the person feels afraid. The Five of Wands is conflict. If you look at them, they look like they're having a fight. Right? There could still be tension between the two of you. Tension because of, of disagreements, conflict that you guys may have had with each other. They could be afraid of how you're going to respond to them. Yeah. That's what makes me feel that. Okay, so let's ask Spirit here directly. Does this person, does Pile 2's ex want them back? Does Pile 2's ex want them back? Do they want to reconcile? Do they want Pile 2 back? Do they want to reconcile? That was fast. Five of Swords. It's still conflict. This is a feeling of defeat. Some of you may have had like a really not so great argument. Lots of words that were exchanged. Hurtful things that were said. With this person. There's still conflict here. Challenges, differences that you guys have to resolve. Do they want Pile 2 back? Do they want to reconcile? Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is having a difficult time with letting go of stuff that happened between you and them in the past. They may even be afraid about whether or not they do make the decision to go back into it. Or are they going to regret it? And it may be because you guys have had some challenges here. You know, can we move past that? Or even if the challenges were mostly coming from this person's side and they were someone who was, you know, emotionally immature or creating issues, right? Regrets. Um, what is this? The four of wands in reverse. Yeah, it makes me feel like this person may still not quite be ready. <clears throat> Makes me feel like this person has mixed feelings about getting back together because the four of wands is talking about instability. Maybe for some of you guys had an unstable connection, unstable relationship, but the six of cups is also would be reunion, reconciliation. This makes me feel like this person feels very mixed about whether or not to reconcile with you. And of course there could be, um, Conflicts with involving other people too because the five of wands and the five of swords could be something that is involving others, right? So like this family, some other outside influence. So it makes me feel like this person has mixed feelings about whether or not to get back together with you. Kind of feeling very hot and cold about it. They may go through with the Wheel of Fortune energy here. They could be going through... You know, kind of very unpredictable energy, like sometimes feeling, yes, I want to, and then the next day feeling, no, I shouldn't. Like it's not consistent, feeling like, yes, I'm all about this, let's make this happen, let's do this. It's like feeling so all over the place with yes or no. Why is the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah. So it's almost like this person knows that there is an opportunity to get back together with you. But the Four of Cups energy is like this person kind of in some way feeling indifferent. Or choosing to push the idea of reconcil reconciliation away. 
It could even be that this person fears you may reject them or this person is feeling emotionally discontent, maybe even with themselves, what's going on and happening on in their own life, that they're not completely open to reconciling with you at this time. We have, I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. They may feel like they need this time and space for themselves right now because we also have the Hermit here. The Hermit is an energy of someone who's choosing solitude, choosing to be alone, isolate themselves, be away. There could be things that this person really needs to work on within themselves, needs to heal. Like I said, for some of you, if this is, especially if it's a divine counterpart, is this person even ready for this connection? There could be a lot of healing this person has to do within themselves, you know, which, which could have nothing to do with you. This could be stuff that they have from baggage from their past, childhood, their past relationships. And so it makes me feel that although this person has seen what they had with you, that are they even ready for it? Are they even ready to, you know, uh, be a part of this connection? That's what makes me feel like is this person knows that if they respond to you or if they message you and communicate with you that you want straight out direct answers. You want to be with me or you don't want to be with me. Don't give me any BS. And that's the Queen of Swords, right? Tell me the truth. And I feel like this person knows that if they message you, that if they're not, if they're going to be all like wishy-washy and not sure, and I don't know if I want to get back together yet, then don't talk to me at all until you're sure that's what the Queen of Swords wants. She wants direct, straight, no BS answers. Tell me the truth. Tell me what it is. What are we doing? I want clear, clear clarity right? None of this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hot and cold. I don't want it. And I feel like they know that with that queen of swords. And that's why maybe this person feels maybe they're avoiding, you know, makes me feel like this person's not ready yet, you know? Um, okay. So what I want to do, I want to ask spirit here, what does this person want to say to you? Okay. What does Pile 2's ex want to say to them? What does Pile 2's ex want to say to them? What does your ex want to say to you, Pile 2? Ten of Pentacles. What do they want to say to you? Six of Swords in Reverse. This person is wanting to let you know that they have not moved on from your connection. The world, even though things might be over right now between the two of you, this person has not been able to fully move on and let go. Okay, they're still thinking about the connection with the star energy here. I feel like this person has hope that... In the future, the two of you will be able to, I feel like, reconnect with each other. It may not be right now, but I feel like this person still has hope for potential future of the two of you being together. This person has not moved on, okay, is what this person is wanting to let you know. They have not moved on. They still have dreams. They still think about you. They still think about the two of you being in a relationship with each other, um... As much as they have tried to move on, they can't. There is no denying what you guys have here with that. Okay, so we have also have Aquarius uh, Virgo. Okay, so we're just going to get some messages now to close out this reading, Pal 2. What do they want to say to you, Pal 2? What do they want to say to you? I've never forgotten about you. What do they want to say to Pal 2? I'm ready to apologize. Do you see us working things out? We have, I have moved on, but I still think of you from time to time. I get emotional when I think of our past memories. 
and our relationship may be broken beyond repair. At the bottom of the deck, we also have, I want to hear your voice. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, like I said, you could have had a lot of issues. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, there could have been a lot of conflict, a lot of challenges, a lot of differences between the two of you. And this person may be questioning, like I said, whether or not it is a good idea, right, to get back together. So I kind of feel, like I said, the world is about an ending, right, an ending there. The Six of Swords in reverse to me is this person, as much as they try to move on, try to move forward, it's like pulling them right back, right back, you know, where they're not able to move on. I feel like completely, fully, there's still feelings here, okay? So I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number two. I hope that this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with these little antlers here, this is going to be a reading today, and we're finding out how... Your ex is feeling towards you. Do they miss you? Do they have regrets? Do they want you back? Um, so if there's any part of me asking what the person's feelings are and we're not able to see if they have regrets or if they uh, want reconciliation, I will be asking spirit that question directly to see what the answer is for you. Um, and then right at the end, we're going to be asking what is it that they want to say to you. Okay, I will also be using some message cards. So let's see, pile three. Pile three, what are your ex's feelings towards you? Do they have regrets? Do they miss you? Do they want you back? Pile three. How is pile three's ex? feeling towards pile number three. How is pile three's ex feeling towards them? We have justice, temperance. How's your ex feeling towards you, pile three? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups. Two of Swords. Eight of Wands, the Strength card. How are they feeling towards you? Wow, Five of Cups. Okay, so I am seeing already with the Five of Cups energy here. This could be feeling grief, sadness, pain, loss, guilt, regret. Okay, the Five of Cups is a card of sorrow. Um, <coughs> we started off with the Justice card, and I feel like with Justice... This person is wanting to make things right. They're try they're wanting to bring justice to this situation with you. Which is to bring balance to it, right? But I feel like this person is feeling conflicted about doing so. I don't know why yet, but I feel like this person is trying to gain control over their feelings, their emotions, so that they can make a decision from a clear head space. I feel like for this person, looking back to what you guys had with the Ten of Cups, is they're realizing just how happy they were or how happy this connection really did make them. You know, you could have been someone who was very nurturing, very kind, very gentle to this person. You may have also been someone who brought in a lot of healing energy into the connection. 
but with that Knight of Cups in reverse, this is where this person is, um, could have some emotional blockages, um, repressed or suppressed feelings, emotions, maybe even coming across as emotionally unavailable. Okay. Now we do have the three of pentacles here. So I do feel like this person has the consideration for reconciliation of your connection. There's something this person is feeling conflicted by, feeling confused, feeling stuck at a place of indecision. Okay, so I'm going to clarify, I feel like the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. So this person still has feelings towards you. The page could be that this person is wanting to apologize to you, right? If an apology is, is due to you. They could be wanting to express their feelings, um, message, communicate with you, especially for those of you that are no contact right now. Um, so we do have a uh, Pisces energy. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Strong Leo energy here as well. Uh, what else? Sag. Libra. Okay. So yeah, so let's look at this Knight of Cups in reverse first. But yeah, I would see that from looking at this, these cards already, this person does, like I said, has the consideration here of wanting to reconcile with you. Um, they do feel sad. They do have regrets. They're wanting to make things right with justice. Okay. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? It, it almost makes me feel like if this person is feeling somewhat hesitant to bring forth some type of offer. So with the Four of Swords, some of you could literally be no contact with the Four of Swords. But the Four of Swords is also about someone who's taking some time to really reflect, rest, take a pause, take a break. Because that Knight of Cups energy um, could be that this person, I don't know, for some of you, there could be misunderstandings happening between the two of you that you guys need to really work towards resolving. Um, let's see what else we have here. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? King of Swords. It almost makes me feel like this person is someone who hides their emotions, hides their feelings. Maybe someone who's also very guarded emotionally, which means that they may not show you or tell you that they're feeling hurt or feeling sad. You know, they, they, they try to detach themselves from their feelings and their emotions to not feel anything, but they do feel it. You know, why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Four of Pentacles. Makes me feel like this person is afraid, fearful of taking the risk of opening themselves up. They could have also been someone who's also maybe been hurt from this connection, but also previous connections. Let's see. Why is the two of swords energy here? Wow. The Empress. The fool in reverse. This person's afraid. Person's afraid to start over again. To start over again with you. Even though with the Empress energy here, this person knows they feel very attracted to you, very drawn to you. Why is the Two of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles. It's like this person is still taking some time to um, reevaluate things because they may have felt like your connection previously 
before the breakup that it didn't manifest into what they thought it was going to. So is it worth it to go back into it, you know? Is it worth it to give it another chance? And that's kind of where I feel like this person feels stuck. But they are thinking about it with that Three of Pentacles. They are thinking about reconciliation. I just feel like because of that Two of Swords, it's stuck at a place of indecision about whether or not to manifest a new beginning for this connection. But I'm definitely feeling like this person is wanting to apologize, right? feels that like they owe you an apology for maybe how they may have treated you um, in the past or maybe how you, you know, the two of you may have happened um, things between the two of you. So, okay, so let's get some Oracle here. Let's see. This person is feeling towards you but yes we're definitely seeing regrets here i may ask spirit kind of directly like does this person want reconciliation because this isn't quite clear yeah i am seeing it here i feel like this person feels confused what are your what are their feelings towards you we have our song this person thinking about music that reminds me i miss you We have the pool here. So this pool person is feeling drawn in to you. Whoa, this one's like way over here. What is this? Confusion. Yep, that's what we're seeing here. We've got two of swords. We have rekindling, right? That's what we're seeing. The person feeling confused about whether or not to start over again. Cycles here, which is telling me this person kind of goes through these cycles of wanting to, not wanting to, wanting to, not wanting to, feeling confused, right, about rekindling. So that may be our answer right there. But let's ask Spirit here. Does Pal 2's ex want to reconcile? Does Pal 2's ex want to reconcile with Pile? I'm sorry, not Pal 2, Pal 3. We have the Seven of Swords. Does Pile 3's ex want to reconcile with them? Two of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, that is kind of that energy here that is kind of what we're seeing three times here. Up there, here, and here. The Seven of Swords is fears. They're, they're, the Seven of Swords can sometimes be scattered thinking, like their thoughts are all over the place. The Two of Pentacles is hot and cold, mixed feelings um, about going. So they could be kind of going back and forth wavering between you know wanting to not wanting to so yeah that's kind of the energy that we're seeing so what we're going to do now um is asking spirit here what do they want to say to you especially for those of you where you're not in contact with this person um and just kind of wanting to know something that they're wanting to say to you So what do they want to say to you? Pile number three. Six of swords. What do they want to say to you? Three of cups. Nine of swords. Okay. Ten of swords. All right. So yeah, again, like this very mixed energy here with this person, like the six of swords is a card of moving on, you know, or wanting to at least move past, like, especially if you guys have had issues with your relationship, the six of swords is when we're trying to remove ourselves from a situation that is creating a lot of rockiness or, you know, instability within our life. We're trying to move away from that and try to move into a more calming, peaceful kind of place in our life. Okay, so with the Three of Cups energy here, I mean, the Three of Cups can be about reconciliation, people coming together, but, you know, so for some of you, there can even be outside influence um, that could be affecting things here as well. Okay, um, the Nine of Swords is fears, anxieties, um, 
you know, overthinking things, overanalyzing. The Ten of Swords is also like painful ending. Some of you could have had a really painful breakup with this person. Um, this person may feel like they need to focus on healing. I'm seeing the Five of Cups here. So some of you couldn't even be with this person if they are someone who is dealing with depression, right? There's a lot of feelings and emotions that this person needs to actually deal with, process, um, heal here. So I want to clarify this a little bit. Um, it almost makes me feel like this person feels afraid. Like what they would want to tell you is that they would feel afraid of going back into the connection. So they may even kind of question whether or not it's best to move on. It's best to move forward. Even though we're seeing here, I miss you in our song. It's like maybe the two of you had like a connection with music or, you know, this person listens to music that reminds them of you. So let's see here. What is this Six of Swords? Knight of Wands. Two of Pentacles in reverse. And Five of Swords, yeah. That's, this is what, because we have the Six of Swords here. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, just so you guys can understand. The Five of Swords is when we're dealing with conflict, right? Conflict with other people. There's tension, there's differences, there's arguments, fights, things of that nature. This is a very tense energy. The Six of Swords is helping us to move away from this. Okay, um, this can be self-sabotage. It can be literally disagreements that we have with other people. So regardless of what it is, it could if this person is a self-sabotager, they could be someone who's trying to move away from that way of thinking. And maybe they feel like they need to heal, right? They need to work on themselves. Um, if the two of you have had arguments, disagreements, fights, you know, challenges, then they may also be feeling, is it better to move away from that type of energy? Because if you look at the Six of Swords, you see these people in the boat. On one side of the boat, this is the rough, choppy water, which is the Five of Swords, right? The conflict, the ripples in the water. The Six of Swords is a rites of passage card. So it's a card of transition that's trying to help us to move away from this energy into the stillness, the calm of the water that you see over here, right? So if it's this person who is causing the ripples because you guys are, there's something going on in, in your connection before you guys broke up, lots of disagreements, lots of whatever, right? It's like this person feels in a way, I need to move away from the drama. I need to move away from the issues, the problems. Or if that person is someone who is a self-sabotage or person, <laughs> then they feel like I need to try to work on myself. I need to try to really work on healing this aspect of myself. So it makes me feel like because this person may still be feeling tension, either with your connection or there's still things that they need to work on within themselves that they feel that it almost makes me feel because we have the two, the two of pentacles in reverse too. And the two of pentacles in reverse can sometimes talk when people are not able to let go of the past, right? They could be, your person could be worried about um, regretting decision of going back into the connection. Um, kind of like when someone is stuck in the past, stuck in the mud, like they're not able to progress and move forward. So they may feel that if there's something triggering to them about this connection that they were not able to move past, that they may feel that it is better for them to kind of focus on themselves, focus on their passions and kind of where their heart or their soul is kind of leading them into a different direction. You know, like, is there, do they feel like they should be single right now? Do they feel like they want to try to date other people to see, you know, it, 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 I feel like it's all within this person's energy where they are confused, which we're seeing here like three times already about whether or not they should reconcile with you, which is really, I feel like what this person would want to say to you is they don't know if it's a good idea. Is it not a good idea? If the two of you have had a really challenging relationship in your past, are they going to regret that decision of going back into the connection? Is it going to be the same old thing 
with you guys going and reverting back into old patterns of behavior? You know, are you back to square one with the same issues that you're not able to resolve and get past, whether they be issues that the two of you guys have together or they are issues that this person has on their own that they cannot get past, you know, certain insecurities, certain fears, certain things that block them from opening themselves up to love completely. Because we're seeing with this Knight of Cups in reverse, this is a lot of blocked or suppressed or, you know, repressed feelings and emotions. Um, so is this person even, because they're coming in with that guarded King of Swords energy here, are they going to be someone who tries to stay detached from their feelings and their emotions and they don't even allow themselves to open up to you or they feel, you know, too guarded? Of their of their heart space with opening up to you in the way that you deserve to be opened up to right so that's kind of what this makes me feel is like this person would tell you like I feel super confused about whether or not rekindling our relationship is a good idea you know is it worth it so let's get close this reading out with getting some uh, messages here so what do they want to say to you pile number three what do they want to say to you I'm dealing with a lot of guilt. What do they want to say to you? I feel myself drifting further and further away from you. Right? Detachment. We also have, I will be ending a commitment to be with you. So this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, it could be that if this, if you are like, say like in a third party type of situation, maybe this is what this person also feels confused to buy because the two of pentacles can also be when we have choices, we have options and we have to weigh our options to make the best choice or decision, right? So some of you could literally be in that situation where this person has to choose between you and another person, okay? Less uh, sacrifice, right? That's involved. So what do they want to say to you, pile number three? I get emotional when I think of our past memories. Our relationship broke me. Wow. Our relationship broke me. You trigger parts of me I don't understand. I'm scared to take a risk. I can't let go of the past. I'm still hurt. Bottom of the deck we have I am holding myself back. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three. I hope that this reading was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next one.